Uh, okay, anyway, so Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Uh, we've already encountered these moons before, uh, but Phobos, just to give you a little bit more detail, it's about 7 million times less massive than the moon. If that sounds small, it's because it is. It is more like a asteroid size object than a you know, considerable um, world like the moon. It takes only seven and a half hours to orbit Mars, and it's made of a fairly similar material to Mars. Um, you can look at a 3D model of Phobos surface that NASA made. This is pretty fun. So um, it's been extensively imaged and mapped. And you know, looking at it, it doesn't look very different from a typical asteroid. So that's Phobos. Deimos is even smaller, so 49 million times less massive than the moon. It takes 30 hours to orbit Mars, so um, longer orbital period, and it has a more similar composition to other asteroids. It also looks like other asteroids, same as Phobos, and again, there's a 3D visualization if you're curious. So comparing these small moons to our moon is not so meaningful because they're so small. So instead, let's see what would they look like if they were in Eugene. So if Phobos um, was in Eugene, it would basically cover the entire region, uh, leaving out only some of the areas near Fern Ridge and Pleasant Hill. If Deimos was in Eugene, then it would really only cover the city portion, just Eugene Springfield, and not even cover most of the outlying you know, South Hills regions. So that's Phobos and Deimos for a sense of scale. So um, Phobos is about seven times more massive than Deimos. Based on only this information, which one is further from Mars? Okay, so based only on the mass, uh, you can't say. So the mass does not determine an object's orbital distance. Deimos takes four times as long to orbit compared to, Mar to Phobos. So based on orbital times, which is farther. Yes, it is true. Deimos is farther. So how do we use that information is my final question here. Which law allows you to figure out an object's distance based on its orbital period? All right, yes, it is Kepler's third law. So let's see exactly how that applies. Um, remember Kepler's third law tells us that the orbital period of an object squared is proportional to the semi-major axis of its orbit cubed. So based on that information, um, I guess I'll give you, leave that relationship up for you to see exactly how much further away from Deimos, or from Mars is Deimos compared to Phobos. Okay, I'm seeing the most votes for option number one, that it is less than four times as far. So let's investigate that. So if Deimos has four times as long of an orbital period, um, to figure out how much longer its semi-major axis A is, I first need to plug in four, four times larger orbital period. That quantity is going to be squared. Um, four squared is 16. So I know that um, the semi-major axis should be proportional to the cubed root of 16. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what the cubed root of 16 is. So let's see if we can reason it out a different way. What if we say it's exactly four times further? Would that work out? Is four squared larger or smaller than four cubed is the question. Well, four cubed is 64. And so therefore, if, if the um, semi-major axis were four times as large, if it were four times further away, um, that would be too much. So we know that it must be less than four times as far away. And if I do actually just calculate the cubed root of 16, then I find it's about two and a half. So Deimos is about two and a half times as far away from Mars as Phobos. Remember Deimos is the little one. So Mars has a small asteroid about four times as far away from it, uh, sorry, small moon, and a large moon, um, not four times as far, two and a half times as far as the large moon is.